Before you ask, I have no idea why Kevin Spacey's voice was so quiet in the cutscene, but I'm glad I had subtitles turned on. Welcome to Detroit! Two and a half million people live in camps just like this one. No fucking hell today, but they got food, water, security, all courtesy of Atlas. Now, the KVA have the balls to move in next door. Fuck me. So this is four years later, huh? Yeah, that answers that question. Thank you. Wow. Man. You look like shit. 22 days straight. KVA doesn't take a break. Neither do we. Copy that. They were gonna start moving people back in next month. Then the KVA showed up. Now everything's on lockdown. They're protecting our target. We still locked in on him? Dr. Pierre Danois. He's in the Midtown Hospital. We're green. Four years of hunting down Hades, this right-hand man turns up at our doorstep. Fucking brilliant. Hey, hey. Thanks for the exposition, by the way, Gideon. World transporter, huh? Atlas has really moved up. They are a big-time business now. Damn. You'll be assigned a job. Now, there is some flexibility. We want your time here to be happy. Are they like a world... <laughs> feel like a dictatorship. And Jonathan Irons is like the president of the universe. Or something. You guys having fun? Playing some bowel? Ha, <laughs> you missed. Uh, how'd you guys get back there? There's nothing but barrack. Well, I guess you get through there. Whatever. Okay. Too many questions. Scanning for isotopes. Please wait. Ooh. What the hell are the KVA doing in Detroit, boss? An empty city without police or eyewitnesses. Good place to hide something. Or someone. Clear. Look out there. Oh my god, do we get Tron bikes? Gideon, Torres, we set. Yeah, good to go. Bikes are prepped. Timeline is locked in. Alright, saddle up. Oh my god, we get future bikes. Yes, give me future bike. Holy shit. Sink to me. Keep it on autopilot. Bravo 2 1. Dr. Dan Walls holding position at the hospital. Clock's ticking. Copy, Prophet. Hitting checkpoint blue in five. Remember, capture only. We need him to find Hades. Roger. Bravo out. It is a little awkward that they just happen to show up, like, right a mile away. Man. Look at these robots. They're not robots, never mind. Gideon, order 5527. Hold on. Got four operatives on bikes heading in. 
Mission order 5527. Okay, you're good. Open it up. Man, this is some crazy shit. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. I'm impressed. This is cool. Bravo 2 1. Moving past phase line Delta. Stay locked up. Okay. <laughs> I understand the hover bikes. Oh, that's mean. Poor Detroit. This is like Mad Max future. I wasn't expecting a time skip this big in the game. It would make sense though. Point ahead. Twelve o'clock. Okay, twelve o'clock. Bravo two one and link up point. Stand by. Standing by two one. Mitchell and I are taking the north side. You two are south. RV on Beach Street. Roger okay. that. I gotta say, so far the campaign doesn't really feel like the rest of the Call of Duty campaigns. Northwest at 100 meters from your position. We'll keep our heads on a swivel. Like, there's a lot less combat and a lot more storytelling and, like, gadget play, and that's great. Like, this, the campaign of this game, so far, has been very good. Clean up vehicle ahead. No one's supposed to be in this sector. Watch your ROE. Maintain stealth. The worst thing about the campaign so far is just the bad guy. Like, Hades is the most stereotypical, stupid bad guy ever, but it, even that's okay. It's kind of to be expected. But. Profit. We're at checkpoint blue. Moving through the school. Copy. We're tracking you. This gritty, futuristic setting where Detroit's been hit by an atomic nuclear disaster. Wow. Classic. That's what year it is. Now I know. It is 2055. This is a little creepy, this place, actually. If Gideon wasn't here, I'd be a little... T <laughs> Never mind, I'm st still a little freaked out. Even with Gideon here. What? Oh my god, all the dead bodies. I've got bodies. Looks like a clean-up crew. Hazmat suits missing. Treat all hazmats as hostile. Copy. If oh, look at her eyes. Been operating under disguise. There could be more of them than we thought. Oh god. They've all got, like, bloodshot eyes. Mitchell. Oh, yeah, well, that guy doesn't. Okay. Yeah, I'll get the, I got the... I got the door. Get the door. Yeah, I got it. Shh. Jesus. Upstairs. All right. This is super spooky. I've got my headphones on and I hear everything. So like, there's all these subtle little noises, like glass breaking and. This way. Okay. I'm legit into this. Uh, I keep hearing. St what the fuck? Heard that? Gideon? Oh my god. I'm making so much noise, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh... oh, shit! Oh. 
Mitchell, Mitchell, hold tight. I'm trying to get down to you. Mm, hi there. Oh. Well, fuck. <laughs> 